What's good, man? It is Jam and Z90. My name is Radio MBT. We all the way live right here in studio. My man, Emerson Windy, Oceanside mm-hmm. Zone, baby. What's good, though? Man, what's up, man? Feels good to be home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Man, I see you out there working like crazy. Uh, you know you what I mean? Stay on it, man. Got to. That's right. That's right. Uh, congratulations, first off. Here, Wanna Album just dropped. Thank you. Uh, Tuesday was actually the actual drop of the album as well, right? Yeah, in the video. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, well, the video, that's, that's the other thing I want to get in with you right now. Because uh-huh. one, awesome song. Thank Peach you. Peach Pie. Video. Your boy Yellow on the production, insane. Yeah, you know good, what I mean? Uh, but I do got to ask you, man, because even myself, when I posted the video on our, on our blog, sdgottalent.com, yeah. I've been hearing a little bit of a like backlash of controversy mm-hmm. around this video. And I know you as the artist, because this thing is blowing up, yeah. that video itself. Like, uh, What are you hearing from, whether it be haters or, or Native Americans, whatever, because that's what I've been getting on my feed. So I know yeah. if I'm getting it, you getting it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, everybody's kind of seen what's going on with the web with this thing. And uh, to be honest with you, like, I mean, I'm completely floored by the, you know, the amount of backlash and bad attention that I've gotten from the video. It's been a lot of good attention, but the amount of bad has really shocked me, man. I mean, I was aware entering this process that I was ignorant to, like, a lot of the customs that the Native Americans have. You know what I mean? Yeah. So to rectify that... I went to a Native American owned and operated shop and I explained to them who I am and what I'm trying to do and asked them if they could help me get this thing right because I wanted to portray the people in the most respectful light possible. You know what I mean? So in the process, I mean, I spent a couple hours in this store, man, you know, and they were just explaining a lot of the artifacts to me, how they were used, who they were used by. And uh, never once was it brought to my attention that the fact that I would wear a headdress in the video, would, you know, would, would offend so many people. Because had I known that then, I never would have did that. Yeah. But I can't fault the people who helped me out because they were great people, man, real nice family. But I think it may have been, it may have been because, you know, they actually had an opportunity to spend some time with me and get to know me and they could see that I was just genuinely interested in their heritage, man, and that I wanted to create a beautiful art piece with their culture. Yeah. And they wanted to share that with me and allow me to share that with the world. And I thought that was a commendable thing. And, you know, I don't think either of us thought that I'd catch this type of funk for it. And it was even to the point when I left the shop, you know, they were like, hey, here's my email when... I mean, when this thing's all up, you know, I want to see it, man. I can't wait to see it. They were excited to see it, you yeah. know, and I was excited to produce it. So when I caught all this funk and being called a racist and all of these things that you just know I'm not, you know, yeah. I don't think by staring at that, that the tag a racist is deserved, yeah. you know, but was I ignorant to some things? I'm aware of that now, but I didn't go into this with any hate, you know? I wasn't here to defame or deface their culture. That wasn't what I was trying to do. I was just trying to create a beautiful piece of art with a beautiful canvas, and that's all I was trying to do. I wasn't here to offend anybody, G. Yeah, yeah, straight, I mean, straight from the man's mouth. I mean, how's any any of your team or like any sponsors, anything like that, are they, you know, what's their stand on the whole thing with you? I mean, when all of this hit the fan, I I mean, I actually contacted my sponsor, Mr. Good Vape, you know, who was also a part of the video. And I contacted Gary and said, hey, man, I mean, obviously this isn't what I expected. I know you didn't expect this, but whatever you need to do to protect yourself, your family and the business, you know, just go ahead and do it. And I'll I'll eat this thing on the chin. It was my video. It was completely my idea. And uh, he told me, man, absolutely not. Like, I'll never turn my back on you in a time like this because this isn't about Emerson anymore. It's not about a music video. It's about an, I mean, an issue that we all need to address, and just the racism and the bigotry that's being spread across this thing. That's not what I created the video from. I didn't create it from. I'm not a bigot. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that's the last thing you are. You know what I mean? And my sponsor as well. Like, I mean, he read to me a few of the comments and things that he had gotten, and I mean, and they would start with things like "you honky ass racist." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, what's the oxymoron in that, yeah, man? You right. know what I'm saying? So it's just like the irony in those comments. But for people to reach out to him and call him a racist, man, I mean, if you I mean, if you know the man, if you know what he's all about, man, I mean, his company, he's created a really multi-cultural environment that's just really cool to be in. I mean, he works with his friends, so those aren't his people he hired, you know? I mean, those are his friends, his family, man. That's yeah. who he works with then. I mean, you've known me a long time. Me and you are friends, man. And, and I kind of have that same diversity around me as well. So, I mean, I'm not guilty of being a racist. Am I guilty of being a little misinformed about some customs and just hopping out there into the fire and trying to do something beautiful? Yes, but 
to call me a racist for it and then to use all these derogatory terms with me that I won't even repeat because I give bigotry no platform. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have asked, you know, I don't see it all because, you know, I don't get mixed up in everything that people are saying, especially when they're saying all this bad stuff, man. Yeah. Like, that's not my my job to read that stuff but i am aware of a lot of things that have been said and people have been saying well how come you won't respond how come you won't respond and who knows anything about anything is that extremism never works it's never the way it's it's always education on both sides that you know can dead an issue very quickly like I wanted to pull the video down the first day when I realized how many people were offended by this. And that just totally wasn't what I was trying to do. I mean, I wanted to pull the video down then. But then it's like, as I'm reading these comments from some people, I have to, sh I mean, there were so many people like you, blah, 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 and blah, 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 just spewing such hate, man. And it was, it was ridiculous. So. At that point, I felt like the world needs to learn a lesson from this and realize this isn't the way you fight these things. Like nobody who has any respect for themselves is even going to take the time to listen to any, you know, anything like that. Mm -hmm. People who responded to me, you know, in an educated fashion and just a respectful. It isn't even about education at that point. It's just about respect. People who said, hey, I don't know what your intentions were, but I come to you humble to express to you why so many people may be upset. And those people, I mean, I have the utmost amount of respect for. But people who actually took the next step and they went to my mother's. A Mother's Day post. You know, my mother passed yeah, away a couple yeah, yeah. years ago, and I had wrote her a post from my heart. And uh, some people who went to attack me there, I mean, that's just so tasteless. Yeah. And there was actually one person, man, who uh, who spoke up on that post, and he said some beautiful things. He said, Emerson, like, you know, I feel for you. I understand what it feels like to lose a parent, and for that, I'm sorry, you know, that you had to go through that. Even though I'm upset by what you did in the video, I don't feel that this is the place to address that. So I'll address my opinions on another post to that man. I have a lot of respect, you know, but I never meant to offend anybody. And if I did so with my ignorance for that, I apologize yeah. from the bottom of my heart. I apologize because that's never what I meant to do, but there's a way to go about it on both sides. And like, you know, a lot of the racism that's been spewed back at me in just the world in general isn't the way to go about this. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, Well, shoot, man, I appreciate you taking the time to come in the studio and address it. You know, man, I know everybody in the Windian Nation, they're going to be happy. I mean, I know a lot of people have been waiting to hear something from you in regards mm -hmm. to this whole thing, man. So, again, I appreciate you taking the time, coming in, chop it up in the studio. You know what I mean? Again, Windian Nation, he's spreading peace and love. You know what I mean? Hence oh, the well, peace pie, baby. Oh, yo, <laughs> and that's the other thing I want to talk about, too, that we might have... Uh, when you said that now, it brought up another issue. Like, I'm catching a lot of slack for the fact that I call my fans the Windians, yeah. the Windian Nation. I didn't just start that. I wrote the Peace Pipe song probably like a month and a half ago. <laughs> you know, yeah, I've yeah. been referring to my fan base as the Windians, you know, for like three years now. You know what I'm saying? And in English, it's a suffix. You put ends behind things. If I was involved with politics, I would be called a politician. Yes. Yeah. I do music for a living, therefore I'm a musician. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not a racist for call. I mean, my last name is Wendy as far as my stage name goes. So I refer to my fans in a term of endearment as the Wendians. The Wendian Nation is because, as you know, as you are too, I'm a Raider fan. So I didn't get it from the Indian Nation. I don't even refer to the Native Americans as Indians. That's from what I understood. That was Columbus when he landed here and he was like, I'm in fucking India. And he <laughs> called everybody <laughs> Indians. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But again, this goes back to your education that you're talking about. Yeah, right? exactly. You know what I mean? Like yeah. rather than spread the hatred and actually try and, like you said, fight fire with fire. Nah. Let's educate each other and we can all learn from this. You know what I'm saying? We can all learn from it and that's what I feel like the world needs to do from this. So, like, I haven't removed a comment that anybody's left on any of my networks and I'm going to leave that up to the people who left the comments there after hearing my response and seeing why I did it. And, you know, I wasn't trying to be a racist. I wasn't trying to be insensitive. I wasn't trying to be anything towards you and your community. I just thought your community and your heritage and your customs were very beautiful, and I wanted to depict them that way in, in my piece of art. I just wanted to share that with the world. I was always taught to share beautiful things with other people. 
there's a lot of things that I wasn't raised on that I do every day now. Like me, I'm a big fan of Indian food and Mexican food, and that's because somebody shared that with me. Yeah. And I feel like the only injustice here is to not share and spread love, and that's all I was attempting to do. So, again, if I offended anybody in my attempt to do so, that totally wasn't my intention. And I'm sorry for that. But am I sorry for making the video? No, because I did it from a place of love. Am I sorry what happened? Absolutely. You know, and now I'll just be a little bit more informed when I'm doing things. So, again, it all boils back down to education. There was a large educational process yeah, after yeah. I caught this backlash. And I learned a lot about something that I respected so much from the get go anyways. And, you know. Nah, I won't ever make that mistake again, but I mean, I feel like it's just completely unfair for me and the people around me to be called a racist and and having such hatred spewed my direction for just trying to do that. That's yeah, wrong. When all you're doing really is trying to spread love. Just you trying to that? spread love. Well, yeah. there you have it, man. Straight from the man himself, Emerson Wendy again. Big ups. Thank you for coming into the studio, my man. Man, I appreciate uh, the time. Most success on Heroana. Again, you. go check the video out if you haven't done so already. Peace Pipe off the new album, Heroana. Emerson Wendy, thank you, G. Thank you, sir.